Hi YouTube, it's Joe here, part-time eBay reseller from South East London. Uh, been a little while since I've done a video and so I thought I'd do a quick quick one of um, what I picked up uh, this this Saturday. And um, just so I'm not in London this weekend, hence why this doesn't look like a sort of regular haul or the usual stuff I'd get. And it was quite interesting actually being, I'm out in sort of Suffolk, Ipswich way and went to a sort of quite a, it was, it was a much bigger boot sale than what I normally go to on the weekends in, in London. But just the just different stuff there just sell very different stuff not so much trainers um didn't really see many video games um just the the quality in general is just a little bit down on what i'm used to it's just just different part of the country um that's all it is all is to it and it but it did open my eyes to things it did make me realize how lucky i am um, where i'm based prices on stuff was just so much more expensive up here because i think people aren't turning over loads and loads of pairs of trainers or lego or video games everybody wants like a real top end price for stuff so it just takes all the money out of it you know you're picking up sets of lego which down in london two three four quid people want 20 quid for and so there's just no money in it so yeah it was quite eye-opening for me i'm still managed to get a few bits um and pieces but yeah nothing nothing amazing and the other comment probably thing worth saying is that my eyes aren't really tuned to almost the sort of boot sale that that was you know you sort of get used to where the area you go to and you know sort of what items you're looking out for if it's an antiquesy sort of boot sale or an old sort of more old-fashioned one you know the stuff to look out for if it's baby clothes and you know toys and kids stuff you know you've you've got to be on the ball for that stuff so i you know for someone who does like a lot of trainers designer clothes and um, video games it just wasn't it, it my eye just isn't really tra trained to to spot the bargains i'm sure there was plenty of stuff there but it just wasn't there for me today but still did all right i'll show you what i picked up and you know what i hope to get picked up a couple of these um car locks i do get pick these up occasionally when i see them the sort of the, the round ones tend to do a bit better you can buy these new for about 25 30 quid on ebay so you, you know you need to bear that in mind but i paid a couple of i paid five quid for the pair of them and should get about 20 quid for each of them so not amazing but not bad this Doctor Who mug at the back here is brand new in the box, BBC official one. Again, they're not a huge profit in these. Probably go for about 15 quid. Maybe when the new series comes out, a good time to sell it or as a Christmas present. Paid a couple of quid on that, brand new. These Harry Potters, I'm tending not to buy so many Harry Potters now, the DVDs. There's there's so many of them and the bundles, but that's just missing one of them, which I've got at home. And that was uh, three quid for all of them. So I thought I'd pay a pound for the other one, four quid. Probably get about 15 to 20 back on those. So not great, but not terrible. Um, various uh, um, various Disney DVDs, um, all sort of mostly off a couple of sellers. Some one was some was fifty p, some were a pound. And again, not a huge amount of money, but there's quite a few in here which I haven't got, um, which I'll just use to make up bundles. And you can get about three three pound a DVD. I think if you do them in bundles, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, depending on sort of time of year. Coming up to Christmas is as good a time as any to sell those. So yeah, if they're fifty p a pound, I do still buy them. This was nice, this was probably the best thing I found. Ironically, it wasn't actually from the boot sale, it was from a charity shop down in London. Paid 10 quid on this, um, Escape the Curse of the Temple. Um, I have played it actually at a mate's house, um, sort of sort of co-op, sort of board game. Um, you know, quite Yeah, quite good fun. This has got one of the expansions in it. I say it was 10 quid at the charity shop and probably should get about 50 to 60 quid for it. Board games, again, I've said this in a few videos, but the ones which almost have like this sort of, often have like a matte, um, matte finish to the um, to the box often worth looking those up because sometimes yeah they just they just feel more quality they feel more expensive they're just they're just they're just quality games and they're expensive to start off with so plenty of money in those so yeah do keep your eyes out for us uh, and board games these are quite nice um a couple of anniversary clocks here both brand new never out of the packaging they've still got i don't know if you can see the sort of the lines uh, where am I here? Sort of connecting to the um, the B there, the bit which turns around. So still brand new there. Guy got those out. I was pretty. I think I was probably the first guy to see them really on the stool, and he wanted a five five reach for them. So I took both of them for a tenner. Um, yeah, there's a guy selling them in America. I think he's looking for like thirty five quid for them around that price. I mean, I should probably get around thirty quid for them UK for each of them. Might do them as a pair. Um, but yeah, quite quite a nice thing and being brand new. So pleased with those. Wouldn't be a complete video about a few pairs of trainers and again, maybe if I was back home I might not bother with these trainers but I felt obliged to buy a couple of pairs. I've got a couple of pairs of Air Max 90s. These ones are quite quirky. They do have a little bit of rubbing uh, on the ankle here. It often happens. Um, but generally, yeah, pretty good condition. Tread, tread really reasonable. S just about on the size that I sort of am happy buying with size 4, these ones and the white ones. Um, and again, a little often happens with the rims. They go a bit off white there. It's a shame the other side's really good, but that side's obviously caught the sun or caught a bit of marking or something that's turned those. But pay five quid each for those. They should get about 20 quid, 20 to 25 quid, maybe the 25 on the white ones. 
and then a pair of Converse, these were three quid. Um, monochrome ones, again, size four, pretty good condition, not much wear at all, a little bit on the heels. Um, they've gone a tiny bit off white and they're a bit um, off black, sorry, and there's a little bit of fluffing to them. But again, these are 20 pounds, 20, maybe 22, 50, 25 quid top, top end uh, for them. They were three quid. And then these is a nice pair of, uh, got a nice pair of G-Star raw um, boots. I've never, I don't really buy much G-Star stuff. These were three quid as well. And I thought, you know, they, they should do all right. I don't know where to price those up. I've not really sold much G-Star stuff. So... Uh, yeah, footwear. So yeah, you know, maybe maybe 25, 30 quid again on those. Maybe not quite so much. I don't know, but I'm not going to lose on them. They're actually, my size. So if I need to keep them, I can. So yeah, so that was it. So not not a massive haul, um, but yeah, just just sort of highlights to me that I know how fortunate I am um, where I'm based, and often sort of watch people's haul videos or what they're picking up, and you do have to sort of put that into you know, you just have to sort of take that into account and consideration where they are and sort of different quality that people are able to get hold of. So yeah, it's quite eye opening for me to sort of be be at this boot sale. Saying that, plenty of money in some of the stuff I picked up still, what you, I don't know, maybe maybe a hundred quid's profit in sort of a morning's work. So yeah, not not too bad. I'll get these photographed now and then get them, try and get them on. Um, on this weekend if I can so they're not sitting around too long anyway I hope everyone's doing well I hope pickups are going well and sales are going well and people are sort of rank ranking ratcheting things up for Q4 and for the Christmas rush but um, yeah best of luck cheers guys I'll speak soon bye